one of the challenge that stocks will have in a 2020 onward environment is the fact that financial institutions will more focus on their core business, business as usual, instead of innovation. Therefore, startups have to do one of two things. First, manage their cash better. The average duration to close a B2B deal is between six to 18 months. The average cash balance on any startup is about three to six months. Managing your liquidity will be a critical element for you to be able to survive. The second element, however, is understanding which part of the bank will actually never change. RegTech is actually a very well hedged industry who is in the startup community. Why? Compliance cost is not sent to decrease, it's sent to if anything stays stable. If there was to be a financial crisis, we should be expecting another rise of compliance obligation and therefore a second rise of RegTech companies. So from a startup perspective, better management of your cash flow, or try to pivot into a space where the standard and the underlying assumption will remain. One of this is regulatory technology. If you look at how the fintech startups and industry has been changing, payments is still a very significant part of the ecosystem. Wealth tech startups have ups and downs and move from B2C to B2B. Regulatory technology has been on the rise, followed by insure tech. However, I still believe that there is a space for niche challenger banks. By this, I mean challenger banks which are providing services to a very narrow subset of the population. And this is something that we're gonna be expecting to see more as those niches will try to require good financial services. For example, designing a challenger bank that specifically caters for people that have mental health issues, such as autism. If you look at who has been doing what in financial technology and who are the best players, there is, in my view, the big ones and the smaller ones. On the big side, you have a company like Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs launch of Marcus as a challenger bank proposition has been very successful and they've acquired in their first week what Revolut acquired in their first year. More interesting are smaller financial institutions that also hold licenses for them to operate as a bank. In the UK, a very good example of that is a bank called Turkish Bank. Turkish Bank is fully on the cloud, fully embracing open banking and has a very agile team. And what we therefore start seeing is more smaller financial institutions that are benefiting from their limited staff size to more quickly embrace full digital proposition. So Goldman Sachs on one side, Turkish Bank on the other. Customer centricity and having the sensitivity to understand customers' needs as opposed to pushing a product is going to be one of the most valuable skills a financial institution will need to have in order to deploy fintech solutions.